Hey guys, this is Jay. Today we are going to see how to design calendar in Photoshop. Before getting started, you can download all the files used in this tutorial. Link in the description. Download it. Use it. If you got any doubt, let me know in the comment section. I'll help you. In case if you want that completely designed .psd file means, hit the like button. Soon after reaching 100 likes, I'll give you the download thing. Fine, let's get started. First go to the folder you downloaded, there you will see a PSD file called calendar, open the file inside Photoshop, this one is a design ready file, size is A3, first we are going to create a solid color background, for that go to the background folder, create a layer, go to color picker, select white color, by using keyboard shortcut alt backspace, fill the color, next we are going to create border guidelines, for that select a layer, sorry create a layer, go to color picker, select any color you want. I'm going with red. Next, pick the rectangle tool, give a click, create a rectangle shape which reads 258 by 1000. We are going to use this shape as reference to create guidelines. Next, enable free transform tool, give a 90 degree rotation. Now we are going to create horizontal guidelines. Fine, our border guidelines are ready. You can delete this layer. Next, we are going to bring in our image. Before that, let's create image placeholder. For that, go to the image folder, create a layer, go to color picker, select black color. Now pick the rectangle tool. Give a click now. Create a rectangle shape which reads 1810 by 2592. This is going to be used as our image placeholder. I'll place it somewhere here. Fine. Next, go to the folder you downloaded. Open image one inside Photoshop. Of course, you can use your image. Drag and drop the image inside our canvas. Make sure to place the image right above the placeholder layer. Now right click, clip mask the layer. Now by enabling free transform tool, Ctrl T, resize the image. Fine, I'll settle with this one. Next we are going to create rectangle border. For that go to design one folder, create a layer. Now pick the rectangle tool. Disable Fill, Enable Stroke, I'll select black color, make sure the width is 20 pixels, now create a rectangle border like so, fine. Next we are going to add two random shapes, for that you need to install a brush, for that go to the folder you downloaded, double click and install the brush, now create a layer, go to color picker, select blue color, of course you can select any color you want, now enable brush tool, in the brush panel you will see the newly installed brush, select the round circle brush. I'll reduce the size and give a single click somewhere here, fine. Next go to design 2 folder, create a layer, go to color picker and select black color, again enable brush tool, this time select the wave brush, I'll reduce the size a little bit, give a click here, fine. Now we are done with the design part, next we are going to create our text content. Go to text folder, create a layer. In the color picker, I am going with black color, enable brush tool, sorry text tool. The font I am using is a free font, I will give link in the description, you can download it if you want. I will keep the style as light and I will go to the size 45, type in your calendar here. I'll place this text somewhere here. Next, I'm going to create another layer. Month name. I'm going to the same black color. I'll increase the font size to 50%. 50 points, sorry. 
I'll place it on the left side. Fine. Next, we are going to create dates and days text content. For that, create a layer inside text folder, name it as days. Now create a layer. I'm going with, I'm going with same black color, enable text tool. I'll change the style to regular. I'll reduce the font size to 22. Make sure the center text is checked. Now type in your text. I'll type yes, which is going to be short form for Sunday. I'll place the text somewhere here. Next, I'm going to create 12 duplicate copies. Sorry, 13 duplicate copies by using keyboard shortcut Ctrl J and then by holding Shift here, I'll move the text a little bit. I'm going to repeat the very same step and I'm, create, I'm going to create another 12 duplicate copies. Ctrl J, hold Shift key and move the text. Repeat the same and create 14 text layers totally. Fine, now we created 14 text layers. To space out and arrange them evenly, we are going to use a technique. For that, now scroll down and select the first text layer, this one. Zoom in, make sure the first text layer touches the left guideline, like so. Now scroll up, select the 14th one, this one. By holding shift key, move the text, make sure it touches the right guideline, like so. Now we are going to select all the text layers by holding shift key in your keyboard. Now select move tool, hit distribute horizontally, this, this one. Now all our text layers are arranged and spaced out evenly. Now we are going to edit the text. I'll change the color of Sunday to red. Now I'll edit all of the day's text. Now our day's text content is ready. We are going to repeat the very same step to create dates. For that, create a layer, name it as R1, short form for row1. Create a layer. I am going with black color. I will reduce the font size to 20 here. Zoom in and type in the date. Let's keep it as 8. Don't worry, we can edit the dates later. I will place it somewhere here. Now I'm going to create 13 duplicate copies. Ctrl J, hold Shift key and move a little bit. Repeat the same and create 12 duplicate copies. Now we created 14 text layers. Yes, we are going to repeat the very same step. Scroll down, select the first layer, make sure it touches the left guideline. Scroll up, select the 14th layer. Holding Shift key, move the text layer, make sure it touches the right guideline. Select all the text layers by holding shift key, select move tool, hit distribute horizontally. Now create a duplicate copy of R1 by using keyboard shortcut Ctrl J, name it as R2. By holding shift key, move the text layers a little bit like so. Now create another duplicate copy, name it as R3 and move it down below. Fine. Make sure the spacings are even. I'm sure now you know what to do. Now all you got to do is edit the dates. Here I'm going with year 2025. It starts from Wednesday. So I'm going to disable the three layers, this one. Okay, you don't need to delete the text layers you're not going to use because we can use those text layers later in other months, okay? So you just disable the text layers you don't want. Now I'm going to edit the dates. I'll fast forward the process. Now I got few extra text layers. I'm not going to delete those text layers. Just disable the layers you don't want because we're going we can use those text layers in other months. Fine, our January month calendar is ready. Now select all the folders. Place it inside a folder. Name it as Jan. Now create a duplicate copy, name it as Fib. Now all you got to do is remove the image, bring in new image and edit the month.
Now we are going to repeat the very same step for the rest of the month. Sometimes creating way too many text layers will slow down Photoshop and it may lag. In those cases, you can try another step. Soon after creating a January month, you don't need to create February copy here. All you got to do is go to the folder where you saved the file, create a duplicate copy of that PSG layer, name it as fib. Now open the file, edit the image and text part. Repeat the same for the rest of the 12 month and you'll be getting a 12 PSD file. Export the file as JPEG or PDF and you can print the file. So this is how you can create calendar in Photoshop. So that's it guys. I hope this video is useful to you. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. For more tutorials, subscribe to our channel, click the bell icon. Thanks for watching. Take care.